Hi, so it is cold, it is dark, but at least the outfits are good and I'm going to be showing you some of my favourites. Let's just get into it. Say hello Alvin. Ooh. I actually loved this outfit in the spring and have been wearing it again in the autumn. It is just my Future Shore leather blazer. This is actually a sold out item. I also have a leather blazer from Zara that I really recommend, but generally I think a leather blazer is a good staple for autumn winter. Um, my AIM Studios long sleeve top, this is an amazing basic. It's a smaller brand, but it's really, really good quality. Um, I've got a few tops from them and I always get asked about them and in general I'd really recommend. Um, and they're sort of double layered, so they've got like a really clean finish around the neck. Um, yeah and my weekday jeans these are the row no these are the voyager the voyager jeans if i'm saying that right um they're not as high-waisted as the row but i still love the row too i'll be showing you those they are just a sort of straight cut finish um really nice blue color this is the pen blue i believe and i'm wearing them with my new balance 530 a classic trainer dad trainer i've been wearing these for years now and i still really really like them and my bag is the jacquemus the cc bag and i think this is a really fun bag to add to a quite a staple classic outfit i wore this one the other day actually and i just felt very good about it it is my diesel jumper adenola oversized bomber these are the row jeans from weekday and ultra mini uggs i am on the uggs hype again this year um i prefer the ultra minis or what are the ones called where they've got the sort of like braided band around the ankle don't know but i like those ones too not the chunky sole ones they're just not for me um this bomber is amazing it's really warm i don't know if they brought it back but i'll try and find alternatives for you this diesel jumper is from farfetch um and i got it when I went to Paris with them. I will have a new Farfetch code very soon. Um, and it, I don't know, it's very simple, but I feel like it makes any outfit. This whole outfit is very simple, but I just felt very good when I'm wearing it. Um, this is my Loewe bag that I re recently got off this year, secondhand, and it is my favorite bag at the moment. And I definitely wear this hair, like I wore it with my hair slicked back, and I think that kind of goes with the whole like diesel logo and the Adenola bomber. But yeah, kind of boring, but love this outfit. These jeans are a really good shape and I recommend. Especially if you like really high waist, these are the really high waisted ones. If you prefer a little bit lower than that, then the last ones I was wearing the Voyager. But both are very good. For reference, these are my Lispec sunglasses. I wear them with everything. I just, I, you know when you've just got one item that you feel like makes any outfit looks, look better. This is mine at the minute. So similar outfit with the same diesel top, but it's a time of year where leather jeans or leather trousers solve every outfit problem. And I'm actually thinking of wearing this outfit to go for brunch with friends this week. Um, long trench coat is from weekday. These are the leather jeans from my H&M video. And yeah, they're just a bit, they're a bit more slim fit than a lot of the other leather trousers that I have and actually fit on the waist they really remind me of the same fit as those row jeans i was just wearing but like a leather version and i think they are a very good staple for your wardrobe for autumn and winter something like it's just like a go-to bit like a leather blazer basically leather for for autumn winter it just makes an outfit a little bit more interesting a little bit more fashion but it's still very wearable um yeah my asic trainers the asics these are new um, I wear the New Balance so much that I felt as though I really needed to get a similar sort of trainer but not New Balance and I went for these Asics but I actually really wish I went for like, so they've got sort of like a minty, um, like they've got a little bit of mint running through them, minty colour running through them and I've seen people with like a brown colour running through them and they would be so nice for autumn. I'll try and see if I can find them and link them below. Lovo bag again and yeah I just think this is quite a nice simple sort of brunch outfit. Trench coat is also always a good idea especially for autumn. Just like elevates the outfit, makes it very fashion without a lot of effort.
So this jumper I actually got very recently from Zara. I really wanted a very simple jumper that has this sort of crew neck and just like very classic, almost like a man's grey jumper. Um, I know that Anine Bing have done a really nice sort of beige one that was several hundred and this one, I, it was more expensive. I think it's 90 pounds, but it is 95% wool, which mm, like makes it a very nice quality jumper that I'm hoping should last for years. Really love the shape that it holds as well. I mean, because it is wool, it is a little bit, people always ask me, oh, is it itchy? Yes, it's itchy, but you don't wear it like next to your skin. I always wear like long sleeve tops underneath it wool is very warm i'm also wearing these zara leather trousers these are old but i'll definitely link some similar below i'm sure they probably might even bring these exact ones back my asics again and this scarf it's from a little brand called wednesday studios and i'm pretty sure she's bringing these scarves back this year um and it just reminds me of like the acne ones I've actually really wanted to invest in a nice scarf this year and I loved the Loewe ones from last year. They were sort of orange and pink. I know, very bright colours for me, but I feel like with a scarf you can add it over the top for a proper colour. It's not going to stress me out too much. But the, this year it's like, it's like red and yellow, which like, I'm definitely more an orange and pink girl. Um, maybe I'll get an Acne Studios one in this sort of same colourway but I really do feel like investing in a really nice designer big chunky scarf um, but for now this one is very good I'm also wearing my coach mini tabby love the mini other no coach mini ta pillow tabby <laughs> which is like the puffy version and I love these bags um, I love this one really really great for styling and really useful little size actually yeah love this bag okay this jacket you're not allowed to tell anyone where it's from. It's actually from Boohoo Man. I saw it on Lizzie Roddy and asked where it's from and when she, I couldn't believe it. I thought she was gonna say like Prada or Bottega or something. Um, yeah, it's so cool. I got an extra large, which I think is probably too big. <laughs> I think a large would have been enough, but I still like how oversized it is. Um, and I've had to fold over the sleeves because the sleeves are really long, but that's fine. Wearing the Zara Grey jumper again. And these are my Future Shore tailored trousers that are sold out. Sorry, I think they, I think we might have some of the leg pocket ones left, but yeah, these ones are very, very good. <laughs> and um, I hope, I don't know, will I bring them back? I'm not sure. Annoyingly, I want, I want a pair in a smaller size because these are a little bit big on the waist. Um, and the fabric is just great. Well, I don't know why I'm telling you this, they're sold out, I'm sorry. Loewe bag again, although a little bit annoying that this like zip is so silver. Oh well, gold and silver mixing metals. And my New Balance, of course, because I constantly wear them. But yeah, how cool is this jacket? I just love the silhouette this whole outfit creates. Another one for those of you who like the oversized fits, the Adenola bomber jacket again. I'll try and find an alternative, but you know, this could be interchanged with like a black bomber, leather bomber, you know. And this jumper is from Mango. It's like a cream cable knit, quite classic. Future Shore trousers again, Ugg boots. I really like the Ugg boots with tailored trousers and longer trousers and coach. This jumper is very nice actually. It's very warm. I've actually like, it's getting to the point where like I really need to wash it but I keep on wanting to wear it. Um, and yeah, it has got wool in so it is a little bit itchy but again, I always wear something underneath. And yeah, I just really, I like this outfit, I like the colours and I have been wearing it for sort of like winter walk type outfits. Um, nice and warm. These sunglasses are from Amazon. I did have, I, I really like the sort of ski style sunglasses for some outfits and I did have a pair from Naked Wolf but I've lost them and I'm so annoyed about it. I really hope I find them because I really liked them much better than these ones. So, yeah. Okay, next we've got this leather blazer from Mango. It's in a size large and I just really felt like I wanted to add a brown leather blazer because I love my black one so much. I thought it would be great for styling, to be honest, into my existing wardrobe. 
I am wearing the Future Shore trousers again. Just shows that a pair of like comfortable tailored chap trousers are like really good for your wardrobe. The Jacquemus Grand, no, Mini Bambin, Bambino, regular Bambino. Mini, Bambino. I think it's the Bambino, like the just, it's regular, but it's very small. Um, but I can easily get away with wearing it with an outfit like this when I'm wearing a blazer or something that I can just fit my phone in and then in here it's just like a bank card and a lip gloss or something and it's actually like as long as you're wearing the right jacket for it these mini bags are actually pretty good in the winter because you can carry all your stuff in your pockets. This basic white top I wanted to talk about it was meant to be in my H&M haul and I forgot it is just like a scoop neck long sleeve top. I like it for styling because it sort of looks, you've still got like that vest look when you're wearing your jacket, but it's got long sleeves so you're not cold. And I think it's a pretty good quality basic. I mean, it's a tiny bit see-through, but I think it's only around 12 pounds or something like that. And yeah, I am a sucker for good quality basics. And I'd actually really like to do a video on good quality basics so or basics in general in my wardrobe um, so let me know if you'd like to see that this outfit I actually wore in Paris recently and it is leather blazer again but this is my Zara one it's like ever so slightly shinier and I felt it went better with this outfit again if you short tailored trousers this top is from Zara and again it's a nice basic scoop neck so that I could wear this little scarf with it which I thought was really cute I just got it in a charity shop and um yeah it's giving very like is it noughties or 90s sort of like Bridget Jones era um cute little sort of useless scarf I don't know actually it keeps you a little bit warm not gonna lie um Luego bag again and these hoops are my most worn earrings ever and they are from ASOS yeah I thought this was like quite a nice walking around Paris kind of outfit. I can't believe I've not shown you this jacket yet and we've gotten this far in the video. It is from a Berlin brand called West Behaviour and it is a little bit more on the expensive side but amazing quality especially for faux leather. I feel like you can get so many faux leathers that are a bit suspect but yeah it is just really nice great shape great for styling. I feel like I could do a whole video on its own on styling bike jackets um yeah, and especially this one's a very good one. Although I've seen a cropped one, maybe it's from Zara that people have been styling, and it's very, very nice. This sweater underneath is a Neen Bing, and I love it. It's really big. I got a size medium, but it is huge considering. And you can tell that I love it because I'm pretty sure I've got bleach on it somewhere. That is the true test to show that. it's a jacket that I love oh yeah there it is um yeah and these jeans so they are from Zara they sort of are quite long and like puddle down the bottom nice shape and I like that as an alternative to those other weekday jeans I've been really leaning towards at the moment again the new balance the spec sunglasses and the jacket okay last one this H&M teddy jacket from my H&M video Zara trousers the more baggy leather one my Zara bodysuit. This is another great basic. It is long sleeve. Yeah, really good one. And Uggs and Loewe bag. Yeah, just really like this outfit. That's why autumn and winter styling is so great. Like the mixture of textures between the teddy and the leather. And it's very cozy and warm. And yeah, I'd recommend this bodysuit a lot. Really good, like staple piece for your wardrobe. That's it. My autumn outfit, winter outfit video. I could definitely do more of these if you like them. Please let me know. I also do lots of like styling videos on Instagram and TikTok and everywhere. So come find me on there. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you watching. Please leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see from me or your thoughts, feelings. I love to hear from you. And yeah, please make sure that you have a good day, a good rest of your week.